Hey everyone, welcome back to another Godzilla Battling video, and today I am talking about what is a hack and what is not a hack. There is way too much accusations going around in the community on who is a hacker, and you know, if someone's not there and they don't know that this was made, post was made about them, they're not going to be able to defend themselves. So I'm making this definitively once and for all to settle what is a hack and what isn't a hack, so I hope that the people who need to see this, see this. Uh, first housekeeping things before we get started. Shout out to King Ghidorah in my Discord for giving me the idea for this video months ago, and I made one and I never posted it. And then shout out to Reddit uh, last night in the thread that I was in. Everyone was really lovely, and we talked about what could be a hack and what could be just uh, exploits and matchmaking. And um, very lovely conversation. That's the catalyst for me making this video now. So without further ado, let's get into it. This is an exploit on the screen. This is not a hack. This is the Infinite Mogera glitch. This is an exploit, and exploits are features that are already in the game, right, that can be abused by players. This is not a hack. So before anyone thinks that, you know, someone dumping two Mogueras on them is a hacker, it's not a hack. It's a, it's just a bug that you can exploit. Just wanted to get that out of the way so people don't get confused on what is a hack and what is an exploit, or a, or a bug even. Now, this is a, a hack. As you'll see on the top, this is a can deploy. They hit that button, and they're going to get infinite energy. You can't see the bar down here. But anyone playing Battle Line knows that what's about to happen, when, so they're going to hit level 10, and that what's about to happen cannot even be possible. This was 6 cost, he was 4 at the time. This video is from July, from the King Kong season. Mark Light Cannon drops, Mecha Godzilla drops, Rodan drops. This just isn't possible. This is a hack, this is an infinite energy hack. We're, you know, you're playing this game, you're all too familiar with this hack. Next, this is the most recent APK that I could find for Godzilla Battle Line. This APK, which mods your game, gives you unlimited money, unlimited gems, unlimited diamonds, unlimited characters, high damage, one-hit kills, and god mode. This doesn't give you unlimited energy, but as we've seen, that it exists in other places. This is the most up-to-date. This is from April 4th, 2022. So as of this video goes live, this is going to be like eight days ago or something, two weeks ago, one week ago, a little bit over, whatever. This is recent right i'm not downloading this i don't even know if this is gonna be malware or what but this is the most recent apk i could find now i've been digging into this game for months and months you know we've been making content for almost a full year now the game has almost been out for a full year we've pretty much been making content for as long as this game has been around and in all of my time i haven't yet to ever see an apk or a mod or a hack or anything like that in all my investigations that take control of an opponent an enemy player there's nothing that i've found that takes control of an enemy player there's nothing that brings your energy to negative which i've seen happen and i'm pretty sure that's a connection issue there's nothing that i've seen where your energy stops loading that is also a connection to the to the servers i haven't seen anything about that this is a prime example and this is the example that we're going to talk about for the remainder of this video this is a this is a connection issue not a hack that happens very frequently. Now, I think it's a connection issue, and I'll give you my thoughts on why I think it is. If you know that this is a hack, give me evidence or proof or a link to somewhere I can download this. I'm not going to download it, but physical evidence that I can be like, this is a hack or not. And you know what? If someone in the comments or my Discord sees this video and they are like, oh, I actually found this is a hack, you were wrong, I will make an updated video. Until then, this is my running theory. Ready? There are three players in the match, players A, B, and C. And I'm taking this example pretty much directly from the Reddit thread. So if you see this, you've inspired my breakdown for this. We're going to call this player A. You are player C. Where is player B? Player B is right here. What is happening is player A is matching with players B and C through the matchmaking system. One of you is getting picked into the match. So let's say players A and B are actually in the match. That means player C is basically just spectating and your pieces are going to look like these ghosts because they're not actually being placed on the battlefield. That's why you see units that are on the field, they make it to the other side and they can fight and everything like that. You are being matched with another player who is fighting another player. I do not think this is a hack. I'm pretty confident that this is a matchmaking, a matchmaking error uh, through and through. I don't... This, I, there are just players connecting and joining into the game together at the same time, and then one of you is being shafted. And that is why you never experience it like on the other end, because it's happening to you. The other two players in the match don't even know that you're in the match with them, right? You can see you can see, you know, your opponent. They can't see you. So this is 
probably the most prevalent matchmaking error that I see and it is the one that people get the most accused for online. So I wanted to make this video just coming out there and saying that this is not a hack. I don't believe this is a hack. I've never believed this is a hack. This is just players getting mashed into the same game at the same time. It's just unfortunate circumstances because the worst thing, I mean, the most that you can do to get out of this is give up and lose your arena points, right? And no one wants to see that. Not a hack. I just want to make that clear because I see a lot of people getting accused about it online. And honestly, I've, I've had enough of it. We got to all learn as a community what is a hack and what isn't before we just start accusing people and, you know, vilifying people because it's not a welcoming community, one that's just vilifying everybody. So with that being said, I hope that my breakdown was sufficient enough. Uh, if you need any more clear explanation, there's a really good Reddit thread about this that I can link down below or you can join my Discord and we can talk about it. But in any case, thank you all so much for watching. I hope that I have cleared things up for you and I'll catch you all on the next one. Bye bye.